Hi, I'm Elora Brody. In this segment, I'm going to show you how I made scales for Melusine. So all of the scales I've been making, the fabric is really lovely, but it needs something more stable to hold it together. So for a while now, I have been cutting out of coconut milk containers and other containers, little scale shapes. Got a ton of them. And those will all go onto the fabric and be turned into scales. So here's some of the scales sewn onto the fabric. This is the fabric I got from Venus de Mille. Thank you very much. Sewn on with a backing of prom dress fabric. You can see I zigzag stitched all of the scales on all the way around. I then trimmed the edges off and melted those edges with a lighter to keep it from fraying. So to finish off the edges of these, I pop the edges with sewing on extra zipper teeth. I'll actually stitch that all the way around and then trim them off and then line the back. The zippers came from all over the place. Some of them were left over from shows that I worked on. Some of them were left over from, oh, ice skating, ice dancing costumes, and other ones have been donated to me. So if you have any spare zippers, I'm always happy to take them. So before I sew this base down to the fabric, I want to curve it just a little bit. This will give it a really nice shape so it will fit nicely over Melusine's tails. My scale fabric is already layered with a sheer over that turquoise prom dress. I'll usually set up several different types of fabric to get them ready for the scale so I can do batches all at once. And I'll sew the fabrics together so they won't slip and slide while I try to sew. I'm going to put the scale curved side down against the back of the turquoise. And I'm placing it on the bias of the fa fabric. What that will do is while I'm sewing it, it'll help it smooth nicely over the curves and fit nicely when I want to try to sew it onto the lining. To sew this, I'm using a medium width zigzag, so in between the two and three, and a really short length, so close to one here. That will help keep it really nice and tight. I'm centering the foot over the edge of this scale and getting ready to sew. So when I am done, I will lift up this back lever, take this out, and clip my threads and check. I was smoothing the fabric over the sides to make sure that it stays nicely over the scale. This first one I did, you notice there's a tiny lump, so I'm gonna have to take that out. I usually will sew maybe three to five scales at a time on a section of fabric. That way I don't crowd them all into here. I'm gonna have to make thousands of these things from Melusine. So I'm gonna take any sense of accomplishment I can get.